In this thread, tropes we hate. The races in my fantasy setting are actually genetically engineered servant slash warrior races. I can hear 40k boys already crying. <laughs> Wise old mentor that withholds vital information for no apparent reason. The marriage is arranged? How evil! Evil indeed. <laughs> Not everything that sounds like a trope will actually turn up as one. It's all in the detail. I made an alchemist character for a game with a new grip and the GM immediately cautiously asked me if I don't want to play something more imaginative. You know, not that there's anything wrong with fire and stuff, but pyromaniacs are kind of an old trope, you know. I never intended to play him as a fire crazy pyro, but I already started the game with a bad taste in my mouth because my GM is terrified of someone pulling a trope on him. Like, give people the benefit of the doubt, man. If your GM says you can play a warrior race, Wait and read the lore before you jump into conclusions and call him an unoriginal twat and cut him off. I don't know. For me, like, you know, I play whatever the fuck you like, to be honest with you. But, like, I will judge, people, do- that, I will judge people that play Teethlin rogues and bards. Or just Teethlins <laughs> in general. I'm like, sorry. I don't I like think- Teethlins, all right? I'm, <laughs> I, 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 I'm perfectly okay with people. A lot of people like, don't like goblins. Too. Yeah, exactly. People don't like goblins. That's cool. Yes, I like my goblins. You know the worst thing is for me when it comes to teeth. I'm sorry, I'm going off on a tie lead. I don't even think it was. Uh, I don't even think it was Wizards of the Coast that ruined teeth It was the players. It was a fandom that but destroyed it- them. Same with furballs. Don't even talk to me about furballs. It still makes me sad. I'm not. I'm not the <laughs> mid to talk. Like, fuck. I'm already off here. Right, next start. one. Next, next one. Po- next post. Humans being jack of all trades. Never got this. Tolkien's humans were never that. Their speciality was horses as opposed to all other races. Yeah, I don't know where the Jack of All Trades came yeah, from. I don't get it either. I don't really... Well, uh, if, if anyone knows it, let us know in the comments. Yeah, like I can't do shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> Humans being the most numerous race. Humans being easily corrupted and just generally retarded. But that's true. I mean, true. Like, that's true. Let's that be serious. True. I'm sorry, guys, but let's, let's not, let's no, not kid ourselves. True. Let's not kid ourselves. What's that? What's that famous quote from Alex Jones? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of a retard. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, I'm sorry, but that applies for way, like a lot of people. Let's be serious. <laughs> Humans being the only race which is not immortal. Elves being pretty. Elves having long hair. Elves having no beards. Elves being gay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. It's, Tell me it's not, though. Uh, yeah, I, I can't think of anything. And them being up their own asses. Yeah, the, well, the arrogance, I think it's more it's, to do with their no, age. No, it's not even that. No, it's don't put it down to the fucking age. They're just arrogant. Yeah, I'm better than you, and you know it. Yeah. I, you know what it is? It's, remember, remember Dodgeball? Here, Global Gym, we're better than you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what elves are. That's exactly that exact quote. Did you That's, ever watch that movie? We watched it. Uh, what was it called? Bright? With Will Smith. Oh yeah, that was a good movie. Actually, yeah, I really and enjoyed that. Yeah, all the L's were in like the uptown. Oh, it was like yeah. Manhattan, like New York, yeah, Manhattan yeah, district, yeah, it was or good. like downtown LA, and like nobody else was allowed to come in. It's like, oh sweet. <laughs> I thought that was a good take. I, a lot of people didn't like that movie, but I thought it was cool. I I, 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 I enjoyed it. Just saying. No dwarf femoids. I exist. So. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarfs being autistic about a thing, smithing, grudging, grudge bearing, racism, etc. I'm sorry, but I can't think of a dwarf that doesn't that isn't like that. It's I can't kinda, think of a dwarf it, that isn't. I know it, I, I know it's they a hate trope. everybody but their own I kind. Know it's and a trope. even then, they hate other dwarves. I know it's a trope, but it is something that I enjoy. Mm-hmm. I do. I, like, I'm, a, I'm a fanboy when it comes to my dwarves. I Leave love dwarves. Be. Yeah, I, I just can't help it. Gnome and halfling stealing each other's spots most of the time. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. Gnomes being gay halflings. <laughs> <laughs> halflings being even more retarded and lazier humans. Halflings no, that one slings. you can definitely blame on Tolkien. What? For making being halflings lazier. just lazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're not really lazy. Like, farming's not an easy job. It's just they like, the, they like a nice wee dinner. Mm. They like the easy life. They don't want to be and caught up in a role. Yeah, exactly. Just, just, they just want an easy <laughs> easy life. They know what's happening, you know? Halflings using slings. Orcs being green. No, I don't care. Orcs no. orcs need to be green. I'm, I am I don't like this new, new thing where, like, orcs are orange and shit. No. I don't like it. Orcs are green. Green is me. Yeah. I'm, t- I'm taking it. I, I don't care. I, I That's one of the ones that, no, <laughs> you can't have an orc any other colour. Goblins. Bar, bar maybe grey. I can do a grey orc. Gray. I can do a grey orc. Goblins being cardly, which they are. Well, I'm kind of... And you're cardly as fuck. You, like, 
oh, real snake <laughs> yeah. all the time. Okay, I use my invisibility cloak and I hide over here. <laughs> like, fuck you. <laughs> look, look, look. It's what my character would do. <laughs> 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 Dragons being able to be killed by anything. Liches always being evil. I can understand that an eternity of no longer being human makes you disassociate really hard, but that does not always have to translate into maliciousness. Yeah, but the problem is, liches, they tend to go hand in hand they just with fucking necromancy. Look evil. I know, but for, well, for me, anyway, when it comes to like D&D and stuff like that, the whole process of raising the dead is an evil act you're creating yeah. an evil being you're forcing um a soul back up back up when they should the, be resting and yeah so for like me yeah. i'm sorry but if you're messing with necromancy and which is it's kind of evil yeah evil. I, I can get it but mm. it's evil wizards being old wizards being a stand-in for scholars wizards being smart Anything love crafty. Now hold hold the fuck up, bucko. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know. <laughs> half elves not being sterile. Yeah, honestly, that does annoy me sometimes when yeah. it comes to when it comes to half laces, they yeah. should be sterile. That's just a couple. That was quite a lot. <laughs> that was quite a few. I don't know. I agree with a small handful. Maybe they are overdone, but I definitely do not hate no. the vast majority of them. You're the chosen one, destined to defeat the bad thing. Anime. This is anime. <laughs> I don't like it. Tell me this isn't the, uh, the generic plot, plot <laughs> yeah. for every anime ever made. Okay, cool. I'm going to go drink and whore as my destiny is set in stone and I'll be victorious regardless. Yeah, well, what's that? There's a big argument between fate and destiny. Yeah. Oh, I can't stand that. Generic deities of the sun, moon, death, magic. I don't know, but the thing is, like, you know, all across the world, we did have sun and moon, like, gods, you know, gods. Yeah. So I see no reason why it wouldn't translate into a fantasy setting. Yeah, I don't see why not. Like, you know, anywhere you went, like, you know, you go back, what, well, like, 4,000 years, you're going to find a lot of sun gods. Yeah. Half angels or half demons? Uh, mm. I would argue they're more like prophets. Yeah. Or the Antichrist like, or... Like I, I would, yeah, yeah, like, her demi-human or demigods sort of thing. Elves are just humans, but taller, stronger, and better at everything. I don't think elves are stronger, no, I'm sorry. No, I don't think they're stronger. The hero wields a sword instead of literally any other thousands of weapons invented throughout time. The problem is, like, where are you doing that from? I'm sorry, my autism is kicking in when it comes to this shit, but the reason why swords are viewed the way they are is a lot to do with Christianity and stuff like that. The shape of the sword is in the shape of a cross. That's why it's got a lot of symbolic... Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's got a lot of symbolic <coughs> value uh, oh. with knights and stuff because it's, it's just the shape of it, you know? Yeah. Like the, the, it's a thing, all right, guys? <laughs> yeah. It's a thing. I know polar arms are way cooler, but... Mm. Having anything be invincible, immortable, unkillable, etc. Yeah, I don't think anyone can argue with that one. Yeah. All undead are evil. I don't agree with that one. Like, I don't like that one. I don't think it should be like that because it's it feel, not... It feels like it's forced upon you a lot well, of the time. I do, I do understand it because normally the undead are controlled by necromancers yeah, and necromancers are evil, evil and then and then. But... What about Casper? Where'd Casper come from? Oh yeah, Casper's a friendly ghost. <laughs> yeah, he like, my boy. He was, he was my boy. <laughs> Necromancers are always evil. We hit that yeah. point. Homosexuality is accepted in every culture. Yeah, I can see that. It depends It depends on the legend of the time. and You know, it really does depend. It it's does hard depend, to... but yet again, it doesn't mm, does it really fucking matter in the game, though. No. I, like, you know, I don't what, think it matters what, in the game. What, what, was, uh, what, was, uh, what was the Greek saying about homosexuality? Um, women are for business and boys are for pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, James. <laughs> it was actually Liz told me that one. Sorry, Liz, if you're watching. Fuck you, Liz. <laughs> Prostitution is likewise accepted in every culture. Yeah, I, yeah. But that's that, what it was like back then. Though whorehouses were everywhere. It depends. Well, what's it like in Dubai? Sure, whether whether the prostitutes over in Dubai, what they do is they've got like they actually marry them for like they actually marry them like just for, for like, the night. Ever, oh, look, God. just to just to get out of the lip hole. Good. Do they get alimony? Yeah, they get yeah they divorce the next morning. So oh, they do they get money? Yeah, yeah. Of course, they get paid for it. Like it's part. No, of... but like for divorcing. Oh no no no! They, 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 but not... they've consummated the marriage, so the marriage is legal. 
Yeah. Like Megan, I'm not an expert in Dubai fucking law <laughs> politics. All right? I just know that they do that just to get in all those good books, right? Fun. Wizards act like autistic idiots. Why is it that most wizards are like that? It's, I think it's to do with the whole nerd archetype, you know, the whole antisocial, yeah. geeky sort of scientist type. Apart from our boy Gandalf, but like that's different. <laughs> Gandalf is an OG, all right? <laughs> Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) And, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. Paladins and clerics are objectively good because God said so. Yeah, this one annoys I don't get me. That one. I don't like this one. I love it when people play, like, evil clerics and evil paladins. I know, I, I, I enjoy it. Like, yeah, well, what happens but if, But I like, love it know... even more whenever they're playing, like, evil ones, but they're tra- they're, they act good. Yeah. On the outside, and then whenever they get alone, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> Pulled into vengeance. <laughs> uh, no, I, I completely get that. For me, it's one of those ones, like, it depends on what god they're worshipping. Yeah. Like, you know, if a god's called leaping and killing and murdering and torturing and whatever else, yeah. then, like, you know, he says gods are always good. And it yeah. depends on what god you're worshipping. Yeah. You know, gods can be pretty vengeful whenever they want to be, you know? Yeah. Good nobles and rulers act like non-magical paladins. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. You get that an awful lot. Treachery. But Theoden is fucking cool, and Theoden I will not. Is fucking cool. Theoden is. I will cool. not have any bad words about Theoden, Theoden. in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Treachery and crafty plans are evil. Yeah, I think that's that's overdone. Yeah. A lot of the time. Dwarves having Scottish accents. I don't know where it came from. But it means I have to hear a lot of bad Glaswegian accents. Oh yeah, tell me about it. I yeah. hear too many times people try and do them. Right. <clears throat> I think I've got a bit of a theory on where it came from. So dwarves are, they're supposed to be Scandinavian in origin anyway. Like yeah. the dwarves in Norse mythology, that's where yeah. I know that they come Vikings, from. Vikings. Yeah, of. Vikings, yeah. all that shit. The problem is, uh, most Scandinavian accents sound fucking stupid in English. Let's be serious, sorry guys. Sorry if you're Scandinavian. Yeah, I, I like, know, I'm sorry, I'm whenever sorry. Whenever you're... Whenever they're talking in English, it's it doesn't. Sometimes da- it's so hard. Yeah, and I think for like a lot of American audiences, they just don't really get it. So, so they think, just turn it to Scottish. But I, even then, you, like, it might have you been think di- that we're fucking Scottish. I know. You, you obviously, Americans pinpointing accents are terrible. Yeah, you are pretty bad at it. Like it's not your fault. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's all sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> But no. Apart from Garbro. <laughs> yeah. But no, I do hear a lot of horrible, horrible Scottish accents. But I do yeah. think it's just because it was better for like American. Was it like Disney that did this? Maybe? I don't know. Could it have been Disney? If you guys know where it came from, where was Was it when... around before? Well, I think it only came about with like movies and. There's a bunch of legendary weapons and armor made by a handful of artisans. The arranged marriage is where the guy is the unhappy one instead of the princess. The prince is gay and loves the chef's assistant. Is that a thing? Is that, is that a thing? A, I've never came across that troop before, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. no, wait, wait, wait. What, uh, there was what, that one in Game of Thrones. What was his name? Lemley, was it? Oh, no. oh yeah, yeah, I remember Lemley he was gay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the only time I can think of a gay king. But he was in love with it. Uh, I was, um, no. I, you, the, the Tullel boy with the flowy hair. The thing of flowers. Uh, whatever you call him. Most of the elves are dead, and their bodies fertilise the forest, producing some fruit trees that granted extra years of life when eaten. Most of the dwarves are dead, and their bodies turned into magic ore. The world has a tide of energy, and that allows people to predict the travel patterns of supernatural monsters that came into being when a great cataclysm occurred. Uh, Most of them I haven't heard of. I don't think they're overused. <clears throat> I don't think they're overused no. for the most part. They've they've definitely been done before. I've heard the I've heard the first one. I've heard the or one. Um, you know they are. I don't mind that. I do actually kind of prefer it whenever most fantasy car like you know fantasy leases are dying off. Yeah. I do. I don't know. I'm a bit of a sucker for that type of shit. I do like it whenever it's mostly just humans and then there's like all other fantasy leases have just been like almost drowned out or they're on like a major decline yeah. I don't know I'm into that shit fight me 
The massive army of Big Bad Evil Guy instantly melts away as soon as the heroes defeat the Big Bad Evil Guy, probably in single combat. Yeah, that one is a bit of a I can understand one. if it was a necromancer. Yeah, if it's undead and they I all can, start falling apart I and stuff, that's fine. I can understand that, but not if it's like... Oh, oh, goblins as well. I'm okay with goblins yeah. doing that. Well, goblins are wee rats anyway. Yeah, they are wee rat bags. A massive army effortlessly defeated by individual heroes like world mobs in a PvE MMORPG. Yeah, that's... Yeah. yeah. But I think that's because a lot of people do bring video games into role-playing yeah. games. I'm sorry, it's a thing. Um, the, two th- the two worst things that ever happened to role-playing games is video games and anime. And anime is definitely the worst. <laughs> Hey, tell me I'm wrong though, guys. But you can you can understand because a lot of people who like, let's say, play WoW, for example. Yeah, most who have people. Never, most people are going to enjoy WoW and role yeah, playing games. Like, let's say if they only ever played WoW and they're like, mm, I really want to try that's D and D. Yeah, oh, yeah. And so they find a group. They're going to pull their inspiration more than likely from yeah, WoW because that's probably most of all they know. Yeah. If they're re- if they're in it. Yeah, I think they would. Uh, yeah, you can see where it comes from. I can see it. And you can definitely see again with weebs that do the exact same fucking thing. <laughs> that anger. <laughs> Meeting engagements involving thousands of combatants being decided by one day a handful of douchebags using Deus Ex Machina powers. Pick related. <laughs> yeah, again, this falls back to... Well, this is done in movies an awful lot of the time as it well. Is. It, it is. actually is. It's way more common than I like to admit. It's kind of sad, to be honest with you, and yeah. I think about it. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Yeah. Let's end it here, will we? Yeah, let's end it. So, one thing I think... I know I know you guys are going to fucking gurn on us, but I do think there was one thing we did start talking about. We did talk about Lord we of the Rings. We actually had to cut out a lot, quite a lot there. Because we kept going off and talking, talking about, about Lord of the Rings. Rings. And I was like, no, cut it out, because we were talking about it too much. Yeah. But, you know, it just shows how I think poignant uh, Tolkien's... Set and set and is still is to this the day. The problem is, pretty much all modern fantasy, we're still playing on his swing set. Yeah. Would that be a nice way to describe it? And they it? still will be. Oh yeah, um, I think modern... For years and years to come, they'll I, still be playing. I hate to admit it, but I do feel like modern fantasy is stagnant. And it's been, it's been a long time since it's had a little... There's nothing ever new that comes out. No, There's it... never anything, oh, I haven't seen that, or what's that? I haven't seen that before, but because it's all... The same it's been stuff, but don't don't get, get me wrong. It doesn't no, mean I'm that's not, all bad. It doesn't no. mean that's all bad, and it means that we're always doomed to feel. It does just feel like a lot of the time we do just like, if we don't know what to do. Oh, what we're talking to in this situation, you know what I mean? That's <laughs> kind of what I feel like a lot of the time. I would love to see something like Tolkien happen again, like a rebirth mm. of the genre. Yeah. But yet again. If there was, they'd be pulling a lot from Tolkien as well. Yeah, well, the closest that you can say, like, you know, that, like, you know, I know this is a very normie thing to say, but, like, you know, people saying, like, the whole thing, like, Game of Thrones, you know, throwing it about the place. But I don't really want to talk about that because... But I think... I'm still salty about the end of that show. But I think Game of Thrones definitely opened up the world of fantasy to a more normie audience. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, for the bad side of the show. Far more normie audience because... It had, you know... It had the it sex, had the drama. guys. It had the sex. It had the drama, but it also had the dragons, the fantasy, yeah. the magic, and all that. And the, but um, it, is a, it is a different mm-hmm. twist on it, but it's it still, still not the same as our boy Tolkien. Yeah. So I think I made it very clear in this episode that my troop that I hate is just anything from anime. <laughs> uh, what would you say, Megan? What would your one be? Oh, I... Um, oh, edgy Rhodes. I just hate edgy rogues. Am I an edgy rogue? No. I'm not an edgy rogue. I don't think I am. No. You're a stealthy goblin. I like my goblin. I try any opportunity I get, I try to kick. (laughs) Yeah, you do, you (laughs) fat bitch. You know she tried to fuck me into a sphere of annihilation two weeks ago? Well... In my defence, I didn't know it was a spear. <laughs> yeah, well, it, look, it was a big open mouth with a fucking big black hole in the middle of it. I wanted to see what happened. Okay, well, we did. We I did. don't know my foot. That one actually turned out to be a teleportation one. Oh, it did, actually. I'm pretty so. sure you're right. <laughs> like, it still would have ended pretty poorly for me. But, uh, yeah, if you guys, let us know what your troops are down below that you just think are bullshit. Yeah, they um, just don't like I, I, just I hate the chosen gone. one. I hate the chosen one. The chosen one's my one. That oh, I'm it's just, tough, but that's anime. Yeah, I blame anime and Harry Potter for them too. <laughs> yeah. And uh, possibly Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
Yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. I know it was a bit more of a ramble, and it wasn't as much fun. It was more just a discussion than anything, but I thought it was interesting. But like, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you later. Bye. All those moments lost in time.